Lanka, historically known as Ceylon, is an island nation in South Asia. Its official name is the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. It is located in the Indian Ocean to the southwest of the Bay of Bengal, and the Gulf of Manor and Pak Strait divide it from the Indian Peninsula. In the southwest and northwest, respectively, Sri Lanka has a maritime boundary with India and the Maldives. Over 22 million people call Sri Lanka home, representing a wide variety of cultures, languages, and ethnicities. The bulk of the country's inhabitants are Sinhalese, followed by the Tamils, who make up the biggest minority and are mostly found in northern Sri Lanka. Both of these linguistic communities have had a significant impact on the island's history. So, without further ado, let's talk about 10 places to visit in 2023 in this beautiful South Asian little gem. Number 10, Aragam Bay. With its 1,600 miles of coastline, Sri Lanka is perfect for water activities like windsurfing and speedboating. Aragam Bay boasts turquoise sky and slanting coconut palms. Aragam Bay must be on your list of must-see tourist attractions in Sri Lanka if you're wanting to surf in crystal clear seas. It lies 320 kilometers southeast of Colombo on the seashore. It's the perfect spot to drink coconut water, breathe in the aroma of jasmine, and let your skin be tanned by the southern sun. Other beaches in Sri Lanka that are among the greatest to visit, besides Aragam Bay, are Tangala, which is located 195 kilometers south of Colombo, and Anawatuna in the south. Colombo is positioned in a prime location and has an international airport. Hence, if you travel to Colombo, you are essentially near to the nicest beaches. Number 9, Temple of the Tooth. One of Sri Lanka's most visited tourist destinations is once again the Temple of the Tooth. This candy temple is famous because of its colorful past. This temple is wonderful to see because of its charming design and intriguing relics. The left canine tooth of Gautama Buddha is kept in veneration at the revered shrine of the Holy Tooth Relic. The temple, which is visited daily by tens of thousands of local and foreign pilgrims, was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1988. The temple, which is highly revered by Buddhists all over the world, is also of immeasurable cultural importance. The building combines the distinctive Candian architectural style with that of the Dalaita Mandira, the temples that formerly held the Holy Tooth Relic in other kingdoms. Number 8, Anuradhapura. This is a popular tourist destination in Sri Lanka and is considered to be a world heritage site. As the Bodhi tree, popularly known as the, the Tree of Enlightenment, arrived, the location became significant. During the time of King Kirti Sri Rangasinga, the location guards the tree and keeps wild elephants at bay. Major city Anuradhapura is situated in Sri Lanka's north central plain. It serves as both the provincial and district seat of Sri Lanka's north-central province. On the banks of the famed Malvathur River, the city is located in the north-central province, 205 kilometers north of the country's present capital of Colombo. Anuradhapura, which is covered in Dagobas, is the most atmospheric location to visit in Sri Lanka. Nowadays, the majority of Anuradhapura's remains are still used as temples or other sacred locations. In addition to temples, this old city has swimming pools and cheap lodging options. If you get along with their laid-back attitude and pace of living, your two-day trip to Anuradhapura can grow into four or even five. As they will offer you a sense of this place's history, be sure to explore the main attractions in Anuradhapura. Number 7, Adams Peak. Another well-known tourist destination in Sri Lanka is Adams Peak. A stone footprint at the peak's highest point has mystical significance to several religions. On evenings with a full moon, many pilgrims climb to the peak. 
To reach the peak by daybreak for an amazing view, the majority of them also begin their hikes at 3 a.m. It is also among the most well-liked. Adam's Peak or Sripada is a 2,243 meters tall conical sacred mountain, located in central Sri Lanka. It is well known for the Sripada sacred footprint, a 1.8 m rock formation near the summit. Number 6 Sijiriya and Dambulla One of the most beautiful destinations to visit in Sri Lanka is Sijiriya, also known as the Mount of Remembering, which is a World Heritage Site. Out of nowhere, this enormous rock structure appears, towering over anything nearby. The summit is quite a hike, but once you reach there, you can get a panoramic view of the Sijiriya Fort and the adjacent attractions. It is definitely worthwhile to visit the Rock Fortress, which is a piece of history situated on a rock. Polonaroa is an old city that receives little attention despite being comparable to Petra in the south. This historic city is one of the top tourist destinations in Sri Lanka and is surrounded by its former robust columns and architecture. The easiest way to explore this old city is to get a bike and was around the ruins. The location is well kept and serves as a vivid illustration of Sri Lanka's history and culture. Sijiriya provides simple access to Polonarawa. From Sijiriya, you may take a bus or tuk-tuk. Alternatively, you may get to Polonarawa via bus from Dambulla. Number 5. Yala National Park for wildlife enthusiasts, not visiting Yala National Park while in Sri Lanka may be regrettable. You are likely to see a herd of elephants swimming in streams, flailing their trunks around, or leopards nesting peacefully on tree branches. It is home to a variety of species and birds. You might choose to go on a safari drive or walk along a nature trail through the forest's lush greenery. In Yala, some travelers camp out and have a barbecue beneath the stars. Yala is one of the top tourist destinations in Sri Lanka since there is so much to see and do there. Yala is the ideal location to practice wildlife photography. Yala National Park is quite easy to reach. All you have to do is take a car from Colombo down to the park. Another option is to get to Tissimaharama via bus. Number 4. Hikadua Southwest Sri Lanka's Hikadua is a beachfront vacation destination. It is renowned for its powerful surf and beaches, such as the palm-lined Hikadua Beach, which is surrounded by eateries and cafes. The Hikadua National Park, a coral sanctuary that also serves as a haven for marine turtles and unusual species, is protected by the shallow seas next to Hikadua Beach. Inland, the Buddhist monastery Gangarama Mahavihara is adorned with hand-painted paintings. On either the coastal or southern rail line, Hikadua is situated. Moreover, the town is traversed by the A2 highway, which runs primarily along to the beach and connects Colombo to Welawea. Hikadua Beach is regarded as Sri Lanka's second best surfing location. A few hundred meters offshore is the Hikadua Coral Sanctuary. The sanctuary is home to over 70 different kinds of coral with different colors. These coral gardens have been designated as endangered. Tsunami Honganji Vihara, a massive Buddha, was constructed in honor of those who perished in the catastrophe. Number 3, Anawara Aliya. In particular, the landscape and tea gardens of Nawara Aliya are well known. For someone searching for a quiet weekend or a romantic getaway, it is the ideal location. Nawara Aliya is a highland wonderland and a fantastic addition to Sri Lanka's tourism attractions. It boasts foggy clouds, lush green sloping hills, and a railway that appears to have been taken straight out of the Harry Potter movies. At Nawara Aliya, the Victoria Park, Bale Bazaar, Moon Plains, Ramboda Falls, and St. Clair's Falls are among the most well-liked tourist attractions. Number 2 Agal 
Gao, a significant city in Sri Lanka, is a one-stop location where you may experience all of the country's sights and sounds. The Gao Fort is among Sri Lanka's top tourist attractions. The Gao Fort region boasts large cobblestoned pathways and a lot of cafes and cafes. When you are there, make an effort to see the sunset. You may explore a variety of gift shops and art galleries. It is one among Sri Lanka's most popular tourist destinations. The Japanese Peace Pagoda is another lovely place to see when in Sri Lanka. It is a serene white dome not far from the Anawatuna beach. Here it is, number 1, Ella. An urban council oversees the tiny town of Ella, which is located in the Badola district of the Yuva province of Sri Lanka. It is located at an elevation of 1,041 meters above sea level, about 200 kilometers east of Colombo. The region is biodiverse, having a wide variety of plants and animals. The name Ella means waterfall, and the town lives true to its name thanks to the numerous waterfalls that can be found nearby. Some of Sri Lanka's most breathtaking waterfalls, including Ravana Falls, can be found near the Ella town. Dialuma Waterfall and Dunhinda Falls, two well-known waterfalls, are also conveniently located near Ella. With trekking destinations like Ella Rock and Little Adams Peak for the daring travelers, Ella is a hiker's delight. The Demodara Railway Loop and the well-known Nine Arches Bridge are only two examples of the town's incredible architectural splendor. The town has a hidden historical narrative hidden within its scenic sites like Ravana's Cave, a sanctuary for adventurous travelers. In Sri Lanka, Ella is a must-see location with breathtaking scenery that includes mountains, hilltops, and lush green tea gardens.